Welcome to this blog by Saurabh Jamarani, narrated by Deb Foster. Value of Turquoise Have you ever seen someone wearing a bluish-green stone that drew your attention so much that you couldn't take your gaze away from them? If so, the stone was almost undoubtedly turquoise. Isn't it strange that some people spend hundreds of dollars on a stone? How much of a return can you expect from your investment in turquoise? Although turquoise is a valuable gemstone, not all turquoise jewellery is of the same value. The majority of so-called turquoise jewellery is made of synthetic or highly treated materials, increasing the value of genuine pieces even more. So how is the worth of a turquoise stone determined? Before we get there, let's learn more about turquoise. What is turquoise? Turquoise is a copper and aluminium-rich phosphate mineral with various properties valued for millennia. Turquoise deposits form in specific geological conditions, and those conditions are not common in many parts of the world. Due to its scarcity and distinctive colour, turquoise has been sold at exceptionally high prices for centuries. Turquoise is one of the first jewels ever discovered, mined and brought to the market. Because of the wide range of quality, turquoise stone can be priced anything from $0.05 cents to $1,000. Unfortunately, this wide price range shows how many fake stones are in the turquoise market. Why is turquoise expensive? Turquoise is considered a semi-precious stone. People enjoy collecting and wearing expensive stones, whether or not they are their birthstones. Some may regard them as a symbol of social position, while others wear them for their aesthetic appeal. However, in terms of authenticity and value, the majority of turquoise on the market is suspect. Genuine turquoise is usually cloudy blue or green, with black or brown veins, but the fakes sold in stores are generally pure blue and lack vibrancy. Natural and genuine turquoise is extremely expensive because it is rare in high grades. As a result, 90% of the ones you see on the market every day are fake. As mentioned, the turquoise value is between $0.05 cents and $1,000 per carat, depending on its origin, colour, purity and hardness. One pound of a natural, hard and pure Persian blue turquoise stone would cost more than $2 million. Factors for turquoise value A few key factors can determine the actual value of turquoise, including colour. The colour of turquoise is one of the most crucial factors in determining its value. Persian blue turquoise is unquestionably the most valuable turquoise colour. It has a consistent, intense and well-balanced blue hue. It is also known as robin egg blue or sky blue in the trade. The primary source of this colour is the district of Nishapur in Iran. Rarity Rare or unusual types of turquoise, such as spiderweb turquoise or turquoise with unique coloration, can also be more valuable. The scarcity of turquoise contributes significantly to its value. Due to exhausted and limited mines, genuine turquoise jewellery is so precious. If a turquoise mine closes unexpectedly, the value of turquoise from that mine will skyrocket. There have been countless cases where mines have shut down due to lack of turquoise. Persian turquoise is considered one of the rarest and most valuable turquoises in the world. It is also in high demand by Iranians who appreciate high-quality natural turquoise with no treatment. It is only found in certain mines in Iran, including those near the city of Nishapur. These mines have been producing turquoise for thousands of years. Another example is Landa Blue Turquoise from the Landa County, Nevada mine. It is a scarce type of turquoise known for its spiderweb pattern. Due to the mine's limited capacity, only about a hundred pounds of this stone were ever extracted. Only one carat of genuine Lander Blue turquoise cost between $400 and $600. Bisbee, Kingman and Sleeping Beauty turquoise stones are also of good quality among other American turquoise stones. However, the majority of them are stabilised. Hardness Turquoise is extremely fragile in its natural state. Even the finest turquoise reaches a maximum Mohs hardness of 6, slightly harder than normal glass. As a result, most turquoise stones are treated or stabilised before being used. In terms of hardness, 
Only a small percentage of turquoise is considered high grade. The hardest turquoise stones are found in mines in Iran, specifically in Nishapur. For thousands of years, these mines have been producing turquoise, known for its beautiful blue-green colour and durability. That region still produces a significant amount of high-quality turquoise. While Nishapur in Iran is still recognised as the most important source of turquoise due to its high quality and historical renown, the majority of turquoise on the market is now mined in the United States and China, which is of low quality and requires heavy treatment or stabilisation. Remember that natural, untreated stones are generally much more valuable than treated ones. Purity. Purity is determined by hardness and colour. The most valuable turquoise stones are hard enough to be cut without stabilisation. They have a smooth, solid colour with no matrix lines running through them, accounting for only a tiny percentage of all turquoise mined. Other factors that affect turquoise value include Matrix. The matrix or the web-like pattern in some turquoise can also affect its value. Some collectors prefer matrix-free turquoise, while others appreciate the unique patterns and character a matrix can add to a stone. However, turquoise with no matrix, smooth or a jammy, is much more prevalent in Iran and is traded at a higher price. Size. Larger stones are generally more valuable than smaller ones because larger stones are rarer and more difficult to find. They also allow for more versatility in jewellery design. When a larger turquoise stone is used in jewellery, it can be the centrepiece and have a greater impact on the overall design. On the other hand, smaller stones may be used as accent stones and are often less noticeable. In addition, the size of a turquoise stone can also affect its weight and density, which can impact its durability and quality. Larger stones are often denser and more durable and they may have fewer fractures or other imperfections that can affect their value. However, it's worth noting that size is just one factor to consider when evaluating the quality and value of a turquoise stone. Origin. Knowing the origin of a turquoise stone can provide important information about its quality, rarity and value, making it an important factor to consider when evaluating turquoise. For example, turquoise from certain mines, such as those mined in Iran, is highly prized and can command a higher price. Natural Persian Turquoise by Amatus Art Persian turquoise, also known as Iranian turquoise, is highly valued in the world for several reasons. First, it has a unique and beautiful colour, ranging from bright blue to greenish blue, often with a matrix that creates a unique pattern. Collectors and jewellery designers highly seek this colour and matrix. Second, Persian turquoise is known for its hardness and durability, essential for its use in jewellery and decorative objects. Third, Persian turquoise's history and cultural significance add to its value. Iran has a long tradition of producing high-quality turquoise, dating back thousands of years, and it has been used in a variety of ways in Iranian art and architecture. The stone is also considered symbolic and holds spiritual significance in Iranian culture. Finally, the supply of Persian turquoise is limited due to the strict regulations imposed by the Iranian government to protect the country's cultural heritage. The government has also limited the amount of turquoise that can be exported, limiting the supply of Persian turquoise in the global market. This rarity adds to its value and makes it a highly sought-after gemstone. Amatus Art is proud to offer this mystical stone to the world. Visit our website to see our turquoise jewellery collection from the world-famous Nishapur mine at www.amatusart.net. This blog is provided by Amatus Art at www.amitisart.net.